Hey you guys, I'm Steven. I'm Giselle. And we're the Lover's Passport. We're here in Sedona. returning from our sunrise hike at Devil's Bridge. It was a really, really cool spot. You have to go early. <laughs> There's literally so many people. We were the first people up there, which is awesome, so we got mm -hmm. our shots in. But Yeah, it was a little crazy. There was like at least 50, 50 people I saw up, up there mm -hmm. by now. Super, super busy. There's a cool off-roading trail you can take. It's about a mile and a half long. You have to have a high clearance vehicle. Excuse all the dead bugs on Steven's windshield, but this is a, you need a high clearance vehicle. I did not put it in four wheel drive. We have had to switch it into four by four. <laughs> this is insane. So, but you need at least a foot, maybe a foot and a half. There's some rock um, climbing. Yeah, definitely some rock climbing crawling along the way. If you don't have a four-wheel drive vehicle, you can park at like the beginning of Dry Creek Road and you can walk the mile and a half and then keep going. So it does make the hike a little bit longer. It about four miles instead of a mile. Yeah, so, so definitely a little bit longer, but it's still a super cool hike. Definitely recommend going for sunrise. All right, you guys, we are here for our second hike now. To the birthing caves. Yep, we are at Long Canyon. Here we go. We just got back from hiking out the Berlin Cave. Really interesting, we saw like this, these three girls, they were doing like some ceremony and like praying and shaking things. It was really, really interesting to watch. So everyone was really quiet and respectful. And then the crowds came. <laughs> it got very, very busy. Super easy, like mile, mile hike there, mile hike back. Best time to go is later in the day. The sun comes up over here on the east and the birthing caves are looking directly at it. So you get really harsh shadows like we got in this picture. But if you guys go later in the day and the shadows or the sun goes behind the birthing caves, you guys are all in the shadow. So it looks much, much better. So if you want photography, go later in the afternoon after 12 o'clock. If you want like a sun flare, go early in the morning. Worst times to go are like between 8 a.m. and noon because the sun is just blaring you the entire time. When we did it. But you know, still fun, really cool hike. Highly recommend doing it. Go early or later in the day because it does get really crowded. Off-roading POV. That's what they call over there the cow pies. <laughs> this is literally a drive at Disneyland. All right, we just made it up here to this area called Merry Go, Go Round, Round Rock. Rock. It's an awesome off-roading trail. We've seen so many pink Jeeps. Yeah, you can either hike it, which is a around a six and a half mile uh, hike, mm. or you can, it still takes a long time to get up here because- Even with off-roading. Even with off-roading, unless you're in one of those dune buggies, but um, it still took us about an hour-ish, yeah. 50 minutes to get up here. So whether, I mean, if you don't have an off-roading high clearance vehicle, then you can still hike up here, which is awesome. Um, mm -hmm. 
but it's hot and it's the middle of the day so we decided to go off-roading <laughs> yes it was still pretty epic off-roading trail you definitely want a high clearance vehicle my forerunner barely made it through some of the areas so. yeah this last part getting up here was a little <laughs> sketchy like we almost decided no we're not gonna go but we did yeah it was it was really really cool spot we are gonna be headed down we're gonna try and check out one more area and then head to cathedral rock for sunset it's been we'll a beautiful see day how much how many people are going to be there oh yeah i'm sure it's gonna be madness you'll see in a bit <laughs> Guys, you gotta get yourself one of these. It's my favorite purchase. It's from Walmart. It was like six dollars, and it's just a gallon of. <laughs> we filled water it up with, with ice, ice and water. It was the move. Anyway, we just finished hiking Airport Mesa. It's okay. I would recommend <sighs> either just going up to the viewpoint, hanging out there, or going on the backwards way of the loop. We did it backwards because I was like, you know what? There's a lot of people at the trailhead. Yeah. Let's just do the other way first. We are. We enjoyed it. It's a four mile round trip. It gets a little hairy, especially on the end of it. There's a lot of airplanes and cool uh, helicopters flying overhead. But other than that, it's okay. That was our we third probably, hike for the day. We probably won't do it again. The Maybe for cool. sunset if there's nothing else we feel like doing. Yeah. But anyway, we got about 15 minutes to Cathedral Rock. It's nice because everything is very close here. We're kind of nervous to see how many people are actually going to be there. Yeah, we're kind of worried we're not going to get a parking spot because it's 4 o'clock and sunsets at like 6. And we have to do a lot for hiking time. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah, here we go. We just got this wilderness pass. Shout out to this orange Subaru. You are awesome. you guys were up here at Bell Rock now for sunrise uh, last night we ended up doing Cathedral Rock it was amazing highly highly recommend it's a pretty strenuous uphill hike a little bit smooth sandstone so make sure you guys bring um, shoes that you can hike on and feel comfortable with on sandstone that have pretty good grit but it was beautiful lots of engagement shoots everyone was really respectful though there's some beautiful areas for photography up there and it's a vortex. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it was still a super beautiful hike. We just did Bell Rock this morning. It was, it was pretty epic. It was not epic. what I expected. I'm not yeah, lying. I thought it would be more of like a trail. A hike, not but climbing. There's quite a bit of climbing, quite a bit of route finding. Uh, we had the all trails and were on it the entire time. And still it was a bit hard to find out. We ended up not making it all the way to the top. There's some rock climbing with some pretty big exposure. We didn't feel I too... I don't like exposure. Yeah, it was a little early. We just weren't um, prepared for it. So we're just chilling out. It's still a beautiful spot up here. Uh, we're gonna be enjoying the sunrise and, and spending the rest of the day. Should be a fun day. Yes, we spent the day after we talked to you guys at Bell Rock. We tried to go hike Soldier Pass. 
it was insane. We got there at 8 a.m., so it was early for most hikes, and it was completely no packed. There mm -hmm. were people that were like, no, go away. There were It was craziness. So if you guys do go Soldier Pass, I was sunrise. reading you want to go for sunrise or as early as possible. After that, we cruised Cathedral Rock again, and there was this really cool pillar we wanted to try and capture right as the sun was coming over. You can only get a sun flare on it from 9 to 10 a.m. So that's why we decided to go back instead of shooting it last night. Yeah, it looked beautiful. And now we just finished hiking around at West Fork. There is an $11 entrance fee, just so you know, um, for all vehicles, and it's $2 per person walking in. Yeah, so it's a little pricey. We think it's a great place for families. We wouldn't necessarily come back, but we have Unless, heard that the fall colors here mm -hmm. are crazy. Unless it's fall, we, took, we would definitely come back for fall. The trail is entirely flat. You There's 13 different river crossings. 3.3 miles there and 3.3 miles back. So it's a 6.6 .6 mile round trip. And when during fall, we were just starting to see the beginning fall of fall colors. So, so close. We were probably like a week or two early. But if you guys do come here later in October, it should be beautiful on this hike. We are about to head out back home. This was our Sedona road trip in a weekend. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Right now, for our next itinerary, the locals have told us to go to the crack, mm -hmm. to um, Robber's Roost, and... Bear Mountain. Bear Mountain. Yeah, so it should be super fun. Thanks for watching, you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. We are going to be doing uh, some Joshua Tree footage and some Death Valley footage coming up very soon. And if you like our type of desert vlogs, make sure to check out our Southwest Utah and Arizona road trip playlist. And we will see you guys on the next adventure. Bye.